Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If where you're watching this video right now, my name is Ida Marie Jimenez and this is Nini Ada's vlog. And this is the first video na pinakikita ko ang salili ko. So I'll just use a mix of uh, languages here or dialects such as Bisaya, Tagalog as well as English to cater the different viewers of YouTube. No? So this is ito po ang first time po na ako po ay nagpakita. Um, sa YouTube ko na videos kasi most of my videos are inedit ko na la, inedit ko lang. Okay? So, I will formally introduce myself. My name is Aida Marie Jimenez. I am from Cebu, Philippines. And currently, I am working as an answering service in an online based com um, It is a Colombian based company, but our clients are based in US. So, yun po. And today, I'm gonna share you something from the Bible but before that allow me to um, say a prayer first so kung saan mo man ito napapanood if where you're watching this video right now and you're struggling whatever area in your life let me pray for you allow me to pray for you and then if as you're watching this video you can also say I can also leave a comment in the YouTube or you can reach me on my Facebook, Ida Marie Menes. I will have the link. And you can message me your prayer request. And if you're available, if I am available too, I can make a short call and pray for you. Okay, so this time let's start. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for today. And praise your name on high, O oh God. Lord, I pray as I have this first ever YouTube video. Uh, live, I pray that you touch the hearts of the people that will watch this video. I pray, Lord, whatever area in our lives that we are struggling right now, you touch, Lord, to interfere. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ay may sab may, naway may sabuhay po namin, Panginoon, ang iyong kabutihan sa bawat isa sa puso namin. May you live, O oh God, may your May we live a life according to your purpose. And whether we are understanding or not the situation we are going through, we pray that our faith will grow even more each day. We thank you, Lord. In your precious name, we give thanks and pray. Amen. Amen. So today I'll have a Bible and then we'll have a challenge, guys. So it's like uh, open your Bible, then I'll open the Bible, and then I'm going to pick a certain verse. Okay, so let's start. Then let's talk about the verse. And stop. Okay, so I open is Isaiah. So in Isaiah 56, I will choose 56. Uh, Isaiah 56. Okay, let me read to you guys. This is what the Lord says. Maintain justice and do what is right. For my salvation is close at hand, and my righteousness will soon be revealed. In Ivy version pala tong Bible ko guys. Verse 2. Blessed is the one who does this, the person who holds it fast, who keeps the Sabbath without dis dis desecrating it, and keeps their hands from doing any evil. Verse 3. Let no foreigner who is bound to the Lord say, The Lord will surely exclude me from his people. And let no you not complain, I am only a dry tree. For this is what the Lord says. To the eunuchs who keep my Sabbaths, who choose what pleases me, and hold fast to my covenant, to them I will give within my temple and its walls a memorial and a name, better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that will endure forever. And foreigners who bind themselves to the Lord, to minister to Him, to love the name of the Lord, and to be servants, and who keep, and who keep the Sabbath without desecrating it, and who holds fast to my covenant, this I will bring to my holy mountain, and give them joy in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. The Sovereign Lord declares, He who gathers the exiles of Israel, I will gather still others to them. Besides those already gathered, come, all ye beasts of the field, 
come and devour all the beasts of the forest. Israel's watchmen are blind. They all lack knowledge. They are all mute dogs. They cannot bark. They lie around and dream. They love to sleep. They are dogs with mighty appetites. They never have enough. They are shepherds who lack understanding. They all turn their way. They seek their own gain. Come, each one cries, let me get wine. Let us drink our fuel beer, and tomorrow we like today, or even far better. So this is the message in the verse, I mean the chapter that we're reading. Allow me to have this in the first verse. Maintain justice and do what is right, for my salvation is close at hand. No? So it is very important, guys, that in life we will maintain justice. Every day we will do what is right. There are different situations in our lives that we can, uh, we may be tempted to do a faster way. We may be get tempted to do the worldly way, not the Lord's way. But let us always consider and always remember that for us to have the justice, we have to believe and depend on the God of justice. And in our day-to-day -day lives, guys, as what I said in the first part of the video, that if right now one of you is struggling, whatever area in your life, either it's physical, you're in bad health, either it's mental, you have anxiety, depression, um, your emotion is bothered, either spiritual, you feel so dry, weary, you feel that um you're you are being you're burnt out whatever area in your life either financial me personally i'm in a financial struggle too but whatever area it is guys i would suggest and i would recommend you to have god in your life and to have prayer always seek god every day okay thank you